joining me. Welcome back to my channel and make sure you stay till the end because I have an announcement. Today I wanted to go over the Milk Cosmetics The Kush Mascara. So I ordered, so I got the mini sample and this, the mini is available for $12 at Sephora and it is only in the color Blackest Black. The full size is $24, and I do have the link down below. It is an affiliate link. I do get a tiny amount if you do purchase through the link, so I appreciate that. Okay, so let's get started. This came with it. It's a package. Let's see what is in here. We have a little sticker here that says, Live Your Look. Then M, Milk for Milk, obviously. And this says, I'm assuming, I can't really, yeah, this says Kush. So it says, good ingredients, epic payoff, cruelty-free, paraben-free, and 100% vegan. And this is the package that the sample comes in. And just to kind of give you an idea of what it says, 95% saw high volume, 95% saw longer lashes, 90% thicker lashes, and 90% lifted lashes. And so what it is, it has the CBD oil in it, and that's supposed to be good for your lashes. Also says it has unique heart-shaped fibers that thicken lashes for long-lasting volume, length, and curl. The brush, it's called a puff puff brush, so <laughs> um, pun it there. It catches curls and coats a pure pigment intense black formula for divine clump-free lashes. And the cannabis oil nourishes and conditions for healthier looking lashes in one hit. So they definitely are playing on words here, so that's pretty cute. So the directions are to wiggle the puff puff brush from lash line to tip, using the brush head to reach the de and define the inner and bottom lashes. Layer for intense value. To a clip where I am applying the Kush Mascara Her favorite, the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Okay, so I scooped you in close. I'm going to do the Milk Mascara. Again, here's the brush on this eye, on my right eye. Did get a little bit down there, but. And then my current favorite, Lash Paradise, on the other eye. So I think that they do look very similar. I look down. So to me, they look very similar. I have noticed that the Lash Paradise, when I've used that, I've never had a problem with it getting on the eyeshadow when I open my eyes. A couple times when I've used this one, it has gotten on my eyeshadow. So just kind of keep that in mind. I think there might be a longer drying time with that. And But as far as lengthening, I think that they're about the same. I actually think the Lash, Lash Paradise might make them a little bit longer. Volumizing though, I think that the Kush wins out of making them a little bit thicker and a little bit volume. So I guess it kind of depends what you're expensive, think. obviously, than the Lash Paradise. But if you get the mini, you know, it's more comparable. So I think that the Lash Paradise is probably a good dupe for this. I do find that it, you know, makes the lashes look nice. I really like how it wears as far as when you remove it. It is easier, I think, to get off than the Lash Paradise. This takes me a little bit more um, rubbing to get off. But from and for me personally, though, when I've applied this, it doesn't do it as much when I don't use it on the lower lash and just the upper lash. But I will say that it did smudge some. By the end of the night, I had a little bit under my eye, and I have not noticed that with the Lash Paradise. However, I had my mom try it, and she did not notice any smudging. So. I think that that's just, you're gonna have to try it and see if it does that, if it works for you or not. I'll give you another history. I'm not sure which video is gonna go up first. I did a review on the Milk Lipsticks. If that goes up first, I will link that below. Otherwise, this will be linked to that video. But their philosophy is milk makeup means no rules. 
which I think is definitely showed that, you know, they came out with this Kush, Kush mascara and I saw that they're launching an eyebrow gel with the Kush. So definitely think that that holds true to them. The line is developed in-house at Milk Studios in New York, and I've noticed that some of their products are made in the U.S. and some are not. This one is made in Italy, according to the pack. They are, I'm not sure if I said this, they are cruelty-free, 100% vegan, free, and paraben-free. So, good brand. Now, have you tried the Kush? If you've tried the Kush mascara, just write yes down below. And if you would like, let me know if you liked it or not. But just yes to let me know that you've been trying it. My announcement is that I am getting, inching up to getting a thousand Instagram followers and a hundred YouTube subscribers. And when I reach either one of those points, whichever one comes first, I will be doing a giveaway followed by a second giveaway when I reach the other milestone. So make sure you are following me over on Instagram. The link is down below and that you're subscribing here because you don't want to miss the giveaway. And I'm very excited for that. And to be entered in either one of those, you will need to be both a follower on Instagram and a subscriber here. So go ahead, it's down below. Do that now and I will talk to you later. Bye.